You poor thing. You look exhausted. How did the inspection go? Look, Steph, um, can I have a word? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking the same thing myself. <gasps> what are you doing after work? In my office. After school, yeah. Right. Your mum's going to read about this. You practically kidnapped us. Sorry, Jack. Couldn't keep them on that bus a minute longer. Don't worry about it. Listen, have you got a minute? I need to run something by you. Is the plug about to be pulled? Maybe. Maybe not. Depends what I do about Steph Haydock. The thing is, we both know she can't teach for toffee. So, I'm thinking of letting her go. Brave decision. Steph's out of her depths. It sets a precedent, shows other members of staff that we mean business. It's definitely the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah, I thought you'd say something like that. Take a seat, Steph. Oh, Jack, you look so stern. Relax. I don't bite, you know. Well, I do sometimes. <laughs> tell me about your day. Was it terrible? I can tell you one thing. I do not work well under pressurised circumstances and neither do the children. It's her, isn't it? Eh? Making your life a nightmare. Look, Steph, um, I've got something to say and it's not very easy. So, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to recommend to the governors that you no longer teach at this school. I'm sorry. Did I hear you right? It's her, isn't it? Poisoning your mind against me. I made the decision. On my own. But why? Can I ask you why? Is it the thing about the missing coursework? Because I can tell you, Jack, you have got no proof whatsoever. And I will certainly cite unfair dismissal. It's nothing to do with the coursework. Frankly, I think you're out of your depth. Steph! Steph! You can't do this to me, Jack. If you sack me, you'll ruin me. You'll... You can't do this to me. I'm the headmaster. I can. Look. Talk to the union rep tomorrow. Get your hands off me. You won't do this to me. For one, I'll have you up for sexual harassment. I only touched your arm. Oh, yeah. But you've touched so much more than that in the past, haven't you? I beg your pardon. Oh, come on, Jack. Don't come the innocent with me. You know what you did. We? We both? You wore me down with your flirtatious looks and your suggestive comments. Until I had no choice but to go out for a drink with you. And then, and then you told me that if I didn't sleep with you, I'd lose my job. So you dragged me into a restaurant toilet and forced me to have sex with you. <laughs> oh yeah. I think the LEA would be very interested to hear how you blackmailed me. I mean it, Jack. I'll have you up on a charge. 